Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very wet one at Apex Racing Center. This is round three of the two wheel track days season here. This is the first time I've ever ridden in the rain and I went ahead and put rain tires on my 150R. Very unique experience. So this is my first session out on brand new rain tires on my 150R. The session before was all kids and they crashed a lot. So I am being very ginger on the throttle here. We shortened up the track here at Apex because one of the corners was completely flooded. It was like a foot underwater. Shane actually brought out a sump pump and was pumping it out, but we decided that you know it would just be a little bit safer if we didn't run that corner. I don't think the camera quite does justice for how much rain is coming down, but you know what? It was fun regardless. Confident. Not confident. Not confident. Alright, so heading into the qualifier for the 150R SS class here, I'm just going to do one lap. It's roughly how fast I was going. Still really, really, really off my normal pace, but you know what? Going a lot faster than the uh, practice session in the morning. I qualified third out of three, so last. Really good progress there. I had to come off the 150R and onto the 65 really quickly so I could qualify for the 65 GP. Uh, that pretty much it's me and the kids, I'm going to lose regardless. So I borrowed a set of uh, somewhat less slick tires. Uh, they were pretty fried Pirellis and uh, basically I was skating around the entire session. And it was right about now that I realized everybody that I'm racing against is kids and I'm never going to beat them, which is a valid, totally valid thought. And I thought maybe I should get off the track when this happened. Kind of seems like I just lost the rear end. I wasn't really applying more throttle. It just kind of spun up and kicked me off. I have a horrendous bruise on my arm and my hip from this. It didn't really look like a bad crash, but man, uh, I was hurting after this one. So after that little spill, I jumped on the 150R and we're going to have our first race here. I managed to get a pretty good start here. Josh is leading. He's just running away from me. He is so fast on this bike. And I know, I know that Jim is breathing down my neck. So he didn't even practice, he didn't qualify, he started fourth. And I know that Jim is behind me. <laughs>
I went into the only right hand turn that I absolutely love on this track going this direction and Jim just yeah, he just eats me alive and after that I cannot catch him he just he's off he's gone he has disappeared finish up this race in third. Time for race two. All right, let's go one more time. This start, pretty good still. Jim gets out ahead of me. Josh is ahead of me. But man, my confidence is so low in the grip, but look how dry it is. I should be hauling ass, but I'm not. I'm just, I'm being really conservative because I'm just terrified based on how much rain there was initially. I can push this bike so much farther. And here we go, Paul comes up on the inside of, the, of again, my favorite turn. Both Jim and Paul pass me in my favorite turn here. And then after this, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty boring. It's basically me chasing Paul for the entirety of the race. Came in in fourth and had to hop back on the 65 to finish out the last race of the day. Thank you to Jerry and Paul and Jeff and Shane for helping me out switch bikes so I can get back out there immediately. Thanks for hanging out with me on the track. See you on the next one.